Hey guys, it's Tyler and Katrina here. Hi. And we are excited to tell you that we're about to eat at Lamplight Lounge, the brand new place. Oh, I'm oh, so excited. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really I, looking forward I, to it. I hope those like little potato skins hold up to what you're bragging about. Uh, I've been bragging about them forever, but uh, let's let's go in and we shall let's see. Let's try it. Okay, you got the sequel? I did. So it has absolute citron vodka, Bacardi Grand Reserve Maestro rum, passion fruit, lime juice, and agave nectar. Ooh, that's sweet. Oh, really? Uh, is it, it? Can you taste any alcohol, or is it very just sweet? Um, it's just really sweet. I taste. I taste the citron vodka because it's like that, like like that tart in the back. But it doesn't really, I don't know. It's good, but it's like, I don't like sugary, a lot of sugary drinks, so it was okay. Um, if you like sugary drinks, this is really, really good. It's like refreshing. It's orangey, and you can taste the vodka. I can't taste the rum, but did you want to try it? So I'm going in for a taste of Katrina's here. Let's see. Oh, wow. Super tart. Uh, <laughs> Kind of too tart for me, honestly. Um, it's very orangey and lemony. Uh, that's that's kind of what I get. It, I'm not into like super sweet drinks, so honestly, that's a little too much for me. But I'm excited for my Park Avenue. Has rye whiskey, Aperol, vermouth, uh, and and chocolate bitters. So here we go. That's a little more up my alley. I definitely have the whiskey right off the bat. You get the I rye whiskey. My choice. <laughs> well, the nice thing is, guys, is they're letting us get anything we want, like including drinks and appetizers, entrees. So we're doing we're, this for you. We're doing this for you. My body is gonna be wrecked for you guys, but um, yeah, uh, honestly, this drink to me is 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 very good. The Park Avenue. Uh, it's like an old-fashioned sort of. So, I really do like it. 
let's see our food. It's coming soon. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this food. <laughs> look at this. We got a spread of four appetizers. Oh my goodness. I, I can't don't even have know. This, but so what do we have here? We have the potato skins, uh, gluten free, no modifications necessary, with cheese, and the uh, two aiolis. I forgot which one. This one's spicy. One's an aioli, one is a yogurt. And then this is a caper yogurt. And then we got the lobster nachos with the cheese sauce on the side so Tyler can have it. And then we got the carne asada rolls. Those are gluten free as well. These I cannot have. They smell fantastic. Those so are the sticky pig wings. Let's, let's, let's dig in, shall we, Mr. Crouch? Do right. it. Tell, I've been I've been uh, playing these up, these little potato skins. <laughs> I've been talking about these for like a good month now since I got to try them. He's like, you're gonna back. love them. You're gonna love them. I'm over. like, I oh yeah. Them. I hope you love them. I love potatoes. So, oh gosh, my goodness. Oh yeah. yeah. That's like a little bite of heaven right there. Yeah, even get the yogurt too. Oh gosh, oh gosh. It's actually really good if you mix the two sauces together. Oh man. <laughs> Oh yeah. How's everything tasting so far? Awesome. Perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm glad, I'm glad. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm just gonna wanna keep eating this. Uh, All right, go go in for sorry. something else. Okay. Yeah. Super. <laughs> like, these are super good. Like they're like fluffy. There's like no skin on it. They call it potato skins, but they're they're play on potato skins. But they're really good, yummy, soft pillows. I'm gonna go in for a bite of lobster nacho. I need to get like, are there any lobster on here? I don't even think we got lobster. Oh, I don't think we did get lobster. Uh, we might uh, have to. We we're might have to take that. Back. We're gonna have to send that one back, I think. All right. There's no lobster. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna yeah, do take a, one of these guys. Do one of these and a little cilantro, I guess. Now these are uh, steak sushi rolls, basically. So there's a piece of New York steak in the middle there. It's okay. Um, <laughs> the, the the seaweed is a little tough. Yeah. To chew. I wish there was more spice. Like I want like a wasabi spice or something to it. Um, it's okay if you don't like. Like I don't like raw fish. So if I want to eat like sushi, then I would probably do this. Um, but I wish I need I need more spice. But this is fantastic. I'll tell you later about this one. Uh, and, and the rolls, they're okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going in for the potato bites. These these utensils feel kind of weird, actually. Uh, they, they, they have this weird bend to it that feels kind of strange in my hand. I know that's a nitpicky thing, but I cannot wait to try these little potato skins again. I got to try them about a month back, and they blew my socks off. So here I go. Exactly what I remember. The aioli has this like paprika taste to it, and it's kind of smoky. And then the tanginess of the yogurt, they like, they balance each other out. And I really like to like mix the two together. That to me is delicious. I really, really like that. Now let me go in for the one that Katrina didn't get to try because it has some gluten in it. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna use my fork. It, I think you're supposed to be able to pick them up, but yeah, this one does not have like a, this one doesn't have like a little bone sticking out of it. So I'm just gonna rip some, rip some off here and it looks like it is like glazed with some kind of soy oh yeah sweet spicy I got ginger soy um, and it's crunchy like that's what I love about it is like just like a wing like a chicken wing they are like deep fried, so it has this like crunchy outside to it, and it's nice and soft on the inside. It's actually really good. Now, gotta get my chopsticks out. Look at this. It comes like with this uh, cool little thing. You rip this off, you got two chopsticks now, and you get a little holder. You got a little holder down here. Look at that. Well, you know, you get the picture. I'm gonna go in, get some sauce on there. There's avocado, steak, looks like a red pepper, uh, you know, obviously seaweed. Yeah, out of everything I'm, that I've tried so far, it's good, but it's but it's not my favorite thing. It's definitely more like, um, 
I think it needs more flavor. Like she said, wasabi, some soy sauce, kind of anything to like kind of bring it up a little bit because it's got the creaminess from the avocado and you can definitely taste the pieces of steak, but I think it needs a little bit more. So yeah, let's look at our, we'll wait for our nach lobster nachos to get back and we'll try those out. We got the lobster nachos with lobster. They do have lobster this time. It's not a lot, but. We'll see. It's a lot. These portions are a lot bigger than what it was at Kobar, yeah, especially for the price point. Yeah, that it, was it's, it's definitely worth noting that the prices are a little hefty here. The lobster nachos are twenty dollars now. They are. Uh, I don't know but how to. It is a bigger portion than it used to be. Mm. Everything you hope and dream. The same as always. Hasn't changed except for that cheese sauce that I can't have. But. Ooh, that sauce is spicy, that crema. Ooh, fantastic, thank you. This is everything I've always, I've, I've, I've missed their lobster nachos so much. So, this is perfect. I'm going in for my nacho. I'm trying to get, look at this, yeah. Got a little bite of everything here. And then also, this cheese sauce, there's always been like a little cheese sauce on the lobster nachos, but uh, it didn't always have uh, flour in it, they, so they've changed it up a little bit. It's not quite as um, processed, I would say. This is more of a homemade cheese. Look at this bite, I'm going in. No, oh, my jalapeno! Wow, what a fail, fail of the year right there. Oh wow. I mean, the lobster nachos, they're always a go-to at Cove Bar. And they're definitely gonna be a go-to here at Lamplight Lounge. Uh, honestly, this cheese sauce that I just tried, it actually tastes a little bit like lobster too. So I think the cheese sauce adds an extra dimension. And yeah, this uh, this chipotle crema that's on top, along with the jalapeno, very spicy, very spicy. So if you don't like spice, be a little careful. Maybe ask for it on the side. But I love spice, so I'm all I'm all about this. Um, so far, everything we've tried is outstanding. <laughs> with the exception of maybe the sushi, the steak rolls. But I mean, they're good, they're just not, they just don't blow me away. But um, yeah, I'm excited to try our entrees now and we'll probably get another drink too, so. We are at the entree portion of this uh, show and I am so full already. Okay, so piquillo pepper hummus, green goddess dressing with uh, grilled uh, romaine and then grilled chicken and uh, like a tomato, Thing. And then there's like olive tempered on the bottom. And this came out, I was like, this doesn't look like a salad. It's like a deconstructed it's, salad. It's a deconstructed salad. I get the artistic take. It was kind of, it was kind of funky. I was like, I don't know. But um, it smells good. I like it. Should I get like a little? I need a bite of everything, right? Oh yeah. Ooh. Gotta cut it. Try not to get stuff on my cool coasters that I'm gonna be collecting now. All right. Some chicken. Got some. This. Wow. Really good. The chicken, super moist, like grilled texture. They coat it in like a, I would say like some kind of like a like Italian like marinade in a way, like like oregano, and I, I, I kind of taste like basil. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but it's it's really really good. I like it. I don't know about this though. Actually, I really like that a lot. It's really good. I don't know if it's worth the price point. I think it was like twenty-one dollars. The chicken's great, but I feel like it it could be like eighteen at the most. But but it's, I, I like it, <laughs> but not not for twenty-one dollars. And I got a chicken dish myself. Mine is not quite as healthy. It's a gigantic fried chicken sandwich with some spicy glaze on top, and then there's a little slaw in there. And there's also a pineapple butter. If you, I don't know if you can catch that, but there's a pineapple butter smeared onto the uh, bun. So here we go. Oh, the bun's kind of mushy. I don't even know how you're supposed to fit this in your mouth. Get ready for some messiness. Here we go. I lost my napkin. Okay, so, honestly, the sauce tastes a little more ketchup-y than I was expecting. It's like a spicy ketchup almost. 
Um, not quite like a ketchup, but but more than I was expecting. I was expecting it to have more of an Asian flair. I think it's pretty good, but for something that I was really looking forward to, this is the thing that I was like, oh man, I gotta get that. Um, I don't know. It's 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 good. It's just a little bit different than I was expecting. So yeah. Uh, they also have malted fries here, which seem like they have some kind of breading on them or something. They brought them with ketchup, but I just got the aioli from the from the uh, uh, potato skin, so I'm going in. Oh man, the aioli for the potato skins? I would ask for that with anything. Like I would just get that and just like put that on my burger, just whatever. It's really good. It's super tasty. Um, overall, I like, I like everything a lot. All right, guys, so we did it. We powered through all that food and uh, happened to get the only, the one and only dessert that they have here at Lamplight Lounge, at least right now. These fresh little fried donuts. Oh, this one's a little, a little messed up, but that's okay. I don't, I don't judge. Comes with a little chocolate dipping sauce and then like a raspberry popper sauce, I think they said. I'm gonna go in for the chocolate first because I just like chocolate. So here we go. That's really good. The donuts are light and fluffy. There's like the sugar on it. And then you get a little bit of, it, the chocolate is like dark. So with the sugar on the donut, it makes it, it, it adds kind of the, the, the sugariness that you would get from like a milk chocolate. So. That's really good to me. Let's try this little popper sauce now. I don't know, uh, Chef John, who's the culinary director of California Adventure, told me I'd find out what the pop meant. We'll find out here. Oh, wow. Wow. So it's like you have pop rocks. It's literally like pop rocks in your mouth. So that's kind of interesting. It's very tart. A little too tart for me. I'm not the I'm not a fruity kind of guy. The chocolate is kind of my favorite thing, but I do really like how you get that poppy flavor, that poppy like sensation from the uh, raspberry there. I'm going in for one more chocolate bite. It reminds me of like hot chocolate almost, like a dark kind of a dark hot chocolate. It's really good. If you're looking for some sweet tooth thing. You really gotta satiate your sweet tooth there. I would definitely go with this. And it comes with the cute little box with the little paper and everything, so. Very cool. I like it a lot. Very good. So there you have it. That's Lamplight it. Lounge. Fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. Pretty much everything I ate was amazing. Was. Uh, my favorite things, I still have to say, are those potato skins. I, those are and obviously the lobster nachos that yeah. you can't go wrong and it was just like it was like an instant flood of like happy memories from the cove bar like coming back and like eating it in a weird like a different spot from down there and you're like wait this is so weird like i'm eating it from it's like, like the down twilight below. zone yeah, yeah a little bit but it's like totally different and then the salad was good it was kind of like funky and weird um definitely like, like a deconstructed type of thing yeah the carne asada sushi not on my top like top list i would say that one you could kind of <laughs> skip honestly like that one was not my favorite but yeah. um but it was good i mean i'm not gonna say it was bad it was good but it just wasn't like it didn't blow me away um but yeah i mean everything else we tasted was fantastic and I would service I, oh yeah. amazing. Oh yeah. We had a great server who just I mean this was her first day serving over yes. here and can I give her a shout out? Yeah, Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. Yeah. she was the best. Yeah, she was amazing. She was really nice. The my first drink was kinda like mm, a little sweet for me. But she was really nice and she got me another uh, another drink instead. Uh, but she was always on top of everything. Yeah. I loved always it. on top of it and great. just like super friendly and knew the menu even though it was the first day and so it was really cool. She was helpful in getting us a couple of the coasters that we were excited about. So yeah. you know. I, was really, I got my otter and I got my green alien and the up house. And then we did get a couple other ones too, but those are my main three. So she like scoured around inside like cupboards and drawers and stuff to go find me that green yeah. alien. That was really nice. <laughs> and there's a cool little secret room too that she showed us that That's is right. in the back there that you can reserve if you want to for like eight to 12 people, you have to tell a manager or we didn't get the full story. You either <laughs> tell a manager or you have to talk about it and, uh, when you get your reservation, but it seems like a really cool room and there's a little couch on the back that you can watch the roller coaster go by and everything, so. On the waterfront, yeah. super nice, relaxing. 
definitely, definitely a cool space if we're if you're able to reserve it. Yeah. So I would say two thumbs up for Lamplight Lounge. I don't know. What? How do you 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 yes. say the same thing? Yes, for yeah. sure. I would say two thumbs up. Price is a little high. A little high on the um, prices, so but guarantee you're gonna spend like you know twenty bucks on average for every entree. You yeah. Know? yeah. Um, so just be just get that through your mind. It's gonna be a little expensive to get to get here, but the food is great. Yeah, but that's gonna do it, guys. So thanks so much for watching and comment below and like us and subscribe to us. All those fun things. <laughs> that have to do with clicking and typing. And uh, we'll, we'll be back again for another review. All, All right. right, bye, bye guys.